Hey friends, what's up, what's up? I am doing this quick video because a really important issue has come up and I wanted to talk about it. Should you call women beautiful and pretty or not? Why all of a sudden it is offensive if you do call a woman sexy, beautiful, smart, pretty, etc, etc, etc. I understand the confusion. I can understand all the problems that people are freaking out. Hey, since when is it a crime to call a woman beautiful? So if you are facing a similar dilemma, here is a quick test. Is she your wife? girlfriend, daughter, sister. If not, you may want to hold on to that word for a second. The second test. Are you in a club or a beauty contest or commenting on a makeup tutorial of a YouTuber? If not, you may again want to hold on to those little words. Test number three. In whatever situation you are telling this woman that she is beautiful or pretty or sexy whatever would you be telling the same if it wasn't her if it wasn't a man in her place would you be calling him handsome sexy eye candy honey <coughs> once again for the third time you might want to hold on to those little words just recently, you may have seen in the news that some Indian politicians made some remarks about Priyanka Gandhi not being that beautiful and other women being a lot more beautiful and hence they were star campaigners. <laughs> Incidents is not isolated to how Indian men think. Around New Year time, when the famous actress from Star Wars Carrie Fisher passed away, she was met with similar comments from some of the Hollywood's beloved actors, who shall not be named, because his tweet was deleted. He said something like, Carrie Fisher being the most prettiest creature on the planet that he has ever seen. And the whole Twitter and social media just annihilated him for saying that because Car Carrie Fisher hated that. Ah! If you call someone beautiful or pretty, per se, it is not a bad thing. Of course, it's a compliment. Everyone loves compliments. But when you say such things in context of a work environment, such as business, politics, sports, these are areas where women have struggled immensely to come forward and to not be reduced to just their appearance because appearance is something that we get from God naturally. This is not something we build. But to get a position somewhere, to work as a politician, to be an entrepreneur, to be an amazing athlete, this, these are things that you have to work on. And these are hard. These don't come naturally. Men an equal kind of recognition as men get. Just to be taken seriously in these professions, women have had to struggle a lot. I'm not going to bore you with the history because I'm sure you have access to Google and you can find it out yourself. But when you work so hard to get somewhere and when you do get at that place, Someone just says you, oh yeah, she's beautiful, she can do anything, she can just get ahead. Or if someone says the opposite, that ah, it doesn't matter how much you studied or how great of an athlete you are or what are your business skills, because you're not pretty, I don't think you're beautiful, so I don't think you deserve the position. Now, if you think logically, this argument is so stupid and dumb, because all these professions that I mentioned they require very particular set of skills. You cannot judge the political acumen of a politician who is a lady based on how well she can apply her eyeliner. Similarly, you cannot judge a female athlete's performance based on how well she can fucking apply a lipstick. And there are many places where women are used just as tokens. In politics especially, when 
when these dumb politicians are trying to collect vote from people they bribe them with free cheap booze and chicken and then obviously f- female dancers whatever they can find and in their mind somehow they think that if someone is voting for a woman then the only reason or the only way they can ever vote for a woman is if she looks pretty <laughs> not say that how many men out there would be voting for a woman if she looks sexy or if she looks pretty and think that the future of their nation would be in good hands only if the woman is pretty i don't know how many people actually believe in that how many voters actually believe in that but for politicians to think that that they can put a pretty face on a poster and then attract people for them it's like marketing you know when you want to market a product you want to make it look good look good no matter how cheap and ugly and disgusting it is from the inside this is what politicians try to do they try to put a pretty woman's face on the campaign poster no matter how disgusting their policies are because those pervert creepy horned up men they just look at the poster they see the woman and they go for it and they don't have enough brains to assess and and evaluate whether the policies of this party are good or not whether they would actually be contributing anything to the economy or not whether they are good for the nation or not so if you are one of those people who find it kind of stupid that why are women making all these fuss on being called beautiful and pretty and sexy then maybe you should try to look a little deeper into the context of when these words are used for women and it's high time now that we you know use more adjectives for describing women other than just pretty and beautiful let me put this in perspective before i end in terms of our late beloved president abdul kalam azad not only was he a scientist genius but also a great great human being now imagine if we judge whether he was qualified enough to be on that position or not based on his looks and we told him no no sir sorry you are ugly we cannot give you this position do you think india would be at the same place where it is now i don't think so so friends the next time you decide to use any kind of adjective to describe any woman please make sure you understand the context of the situation if it's in a work environment whether it's business politics or sports you can use adjectives that judge their acumen their skills and their abilities that's all for now this is con girl signing off and i'll catch you in the next video please don't forget to like share and subscribe if you like this video thanks for watching bye